Hi there, and the story ninjas in the house today, and little listening ninjas, do I have something to tell you. So, as big as I am, I still love to play. So I'm going to show you a little something, and I'm sure you are going to guess what I've been up to. So Juma has helped me with a little prop, and I'm sure you can figure out what this is. You know, I'm hearing somebody say bubbles. Well then right you are, bubbles. I was actually playing with bubbles outside today. It is such a beautiful sunny day. I found a bottle of bubbles and I couldn't resist. I needed to indulge the little girl in me with a bit of bubble fun, which led me to the story. And I'm sure you know there has to be bubbles in it somewhere, but let's get started. The story I found on the internet, so yes, there's no pictures, but I will share the sites with you. So go and visit our Facebook page as well. I'm sure you want to know. The story is exactly Blowing Bubbles. And it was found on a site called electricscotland.com with children's bedtime stories. This one was written by Margot Fallis. So what I usually do what I love to do is to bring a little friend into the story or make the story about someone I know. And I know she's listening. So Kezia, this one is for you. So our story starts with a rather curious and adventurous little girl who had the most amazing imagination. And well, a day just like today. When after her lunch snack, Kezia went out to sit on the front porch of our house to blow bubbles. Her mom had just found a bottle of bubbles in a box of stuff. You know, Auntie Lucy had cleared out her closets and this box arrived for us. She held the thin red plastic stick in her hand and blew through the hole and watched the purple, yellow, red, green and blue bubbles float up in the air and swirl all around her. They sparkled like rainbows in the midday sun. And it didn't take long for them to start to pop. Mmm. And so what sounds are we hearing? Pop, 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 pop. And soon all Kezia could hear was the popping. So she put down her bubble bottle and tried catching the ones that she hadn't popped yet. One of the bubbles was very huge. It floated up into the air, wriggling and changing shape as it lazily climbed higher and higher up into the sky. Kezia sat back and watched it float away. She closed her eyes and wished that she could too be a bubble and sail through the sky, looking down at the land all below her. But then Kezia felt a bit funny and she felt a bit light and like magic, she was transformed into a big, shiny bubble. And that's where this comes in. Whoa, she said, as she saw a huge red fire engine racing down the street. She heard the wailing noise of the siren as it headed towards a fire. Kezia knew that if she went near the fire, she would definitely pop. Now she was so busy looking at the fire engine that she wasn't watching where she was floating. So even bubbles need to know where they're going. She didn't see the building that she was heading towards. Kezia, Kezia the bubble, was just about to go pop when a man opened her window and she flew right through it and came out on the other side. Oh, shoo, that was a close one, Kezia said. Better be a little more careful. She looked down and what did she see? The fairground. Oh my, look at all the rides. I hear merry go round music. Oh, I see merry go round spinning around slowly. Oh, I wish I was on it. Kezia sighed. She watched a little girl as she ate her cotton candy. Ooh, that looks yummy. She said, wishing she could also have a bite of the pink fluffy sponge sugar. Mmm. Now, 
candy floss. That's my favourite treat. She saw children carrying stuffed animals. They must have won a game, she thought. There seemed to be colourful balloons everywhere she looked. Just then, a child let go of a bright green balloon and it came soaring towards Kezia. Oh no, she called out. Kezia had to swerve out of the way so it didn't hit her. The balloon went higher and higher and soon she couldn't see it anymore. The wind carried Kezia further and further away and she passed over Enorka's flower gardens. Daffodils are so pretty, she said, never having really noticed it before. The violets and primroses are beautiful too, she added. She floated past a tall oak tree. She could see a nest resting in its branches and a robin was perched nearby, so we know a robin is a little bird. There were several blue speckled eggs inside the nest and the bird flapped its wings. Oh, don't pop me, Kezia said. She was afraid the robin might stick its beak into her and pop her bubble. But the robin sat still and watched as she floated by. Kezia got to see many places and many things that day, all from high up in the sky. The next thing she saw was a farm. She floated over a red barn. She could see the hay sticking out of the loft. Look, in amazement, look at all the black and white cows grazing in the field. There's a flock of sheep huddled together and my, it looks like a fluffy white cloud. There are some pretty pig pigs and a green tractor. I like farm, said Kezia. Kezia could see fields and fields of green leafy vegetables growing in all the directions around the farm. Ahead, Kezia saw another tall building. She watched for an open window. See, this time she's being a little bit more observant. And she headed towards it. She floated inside and sailed into a bathroom. And there was a little girl having a bath. The tub was full with bubbles. They floated up into the air and surrounded her. <gasps> look at all those bubbles. Is that what I look like? Kezia wondered. The bubbles began to pop all around her. Pop, 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 pop. Just then, the little girl stuck her finger and poked it into Kezia and pop! So now I wonder what's happening next, now that our pretty bubbles have all popped. Kezia woke up and she rubbed her eyes. Hello there, sleepy head, said Mom. Do you know what? The day is still so beautiful. Why don't we go to the fair? Would you like that? When she saw her bottle of bubbles on the porch next to her, Kezia realised that she must have fallen fast asleep and had been just dreaming about being a bubble. She laughed to herself, jumped up and said, You know what, Mom? I'd love to go to the fair. So I hope you've enjoyed the story about bubbles and that you will be inspired to go outside and perhaps blow some bubbles because I'm sure, just like in my house, there's a bottle of bubbles hiding around somewhere on a shelf at the back of a cupboard in a toy box somewhere. So go outside and have some bubble fun. Goodbye for now and see you next time.